Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video about a question that we should never ask a ghost. Okay, now some of you today will be first time watchers because I'm just about to um, put this link into some groups that I know. So please be aware of the following. I have been a ghost investigator for 56 years since I was a child. I have seen, talked, and communicated with ghosts, spirits, and other entities since I was a child. It all accumulated to 2001 when I died. I was 14 minutes clinically dead, and I went to heaven for what I call five years. That's why I have my book, Five Years in Heaven, The Teachings of Heaven by me. Okay, look how thick it is. It's a big book, very in-depth about my experience and what I learned whilst in heaven. It's got all my medical files in there. Proof that I was 14 minutes clinically dead. Okay, so now that I've got through my qualifications, phew. Okay, I have one major issue with what people say to ghosts. That this is the question that you should never ask them and it could come in two different ways the first one is are you aware you're dead you never ask a ghost if they know they're dead okay reason why imagine if someone said to you right now that you're dead how would you feel knowing that you've got bills you've got kids you've got parents that you've got friends that you're supposed to be going out with today. So what it does is that sends us into a huge psychedelic event. It can bring on PTSD. It can bring on trauma. It could bring on poltergeist activity. Okay. So we never, ever tell a ghost that they are dead. There's two reasons why ghosts stay here on earth. And we've got to remember, ghosts are those who stay on earth. Spirits are those who go to heaven and they pop in with their messages and we feel they get they we see their feathers and that sort of stuff. Okay? So ghosts, ghosts are those who stay earthbound. Spirits go to heaven. There's two reasons why ghosts stay earthbound. They either know they're dead, like my neighbor Roy, or they don't know they're dead like the story I tell of Shelly which there's a video on my channel go search it out under the video links the ghost story of Shelly she was in my house for three days as prominent as me sitting in front of you now and she did not know she died so it was a very very careful and respectful way that I had to inform her that she died in the car accident back in the 1970s okay so <clears throat> the first question we never tell a ghost is are you aware you're dead um, we look at movies the one I love talking about here is Bruce Willis in The Sixth Sense he did not know he died he was trying to talk to his wife every night and he couldn't understand why she couldn't talk to him anymore he thought that they were just separated he was still working as a child psychologist. So imagine if someone just came up to him and said, hey, do you know you're dead? Even that little boy who knew that he saw dead spirits, he never told Bruce Willis that he was dead. Bruce Willis had to come to that realization under his own free will. And that's the doozy here. We can never tell a ghost anything that in interferes or interrupts their own free will then we look at the ghosts who do know they've stayed here my neighbor Roy he knows he's dead so imagine me telling him hey Roy how do you feel now you're dead one they don't want to be reminded of it because the reason why they're here is because they are still living that life like Roy is still living his Roy life of when he lived here secondly what is he going to do about it until he wants to go home he's not going to change his mind and go through the white light or go pass over into the heavenly plane so there is absolutely no point 
So let's go there. Why do people say this question so often? It's because one, people are ignorant. They don't understand what ghosts can and can't do. And two, it's ego. We want to tell the ghosts that they're dead. You can't do that, guys. Seriously. I have seen so many bad situations happening where people have told someone that they're dead. Things get started to throw around. I've had a car engine thrown at me. There's a video in my video links regarding the car accident. Um, the, the car engine. It was thrown at me. Okay? You do not ever upset or change the mind of a ghost without their free will. Okay? Imagine going over to Gettysburg in America because I'm in Australia. Imagine going to Gettysburg where all those soldiers from the Civil War are still there in their proud Confederate and Union uniforms standing on the Gettysfield, Gettysburg field and they are defending their rights in that Civil War. Can you imagine walking up to those lost souls and saying to them, hey, why don't you just go to heaven? You're dead. Because it goes against every grain of what they believe in, which is psychology. Okay? So my book, The Ghosts, The Psychology of Why They Stay, is coming out in about two weeks. It's nearly finished. Okay? I'm going to be giving away free copies, so stay tuned. Okay? Now, the next thing that we never tell a ghost is go into the light. Go into the white light. One, if they don't know they're dead and they don't see the white light, they'll be looking at you like, what the hell is this girl on? Has she been sucking on those mushrooms again? It confuses them. It frustrates them. And if they're there trying to talk to you and you can't see them and they're right in your face, what are you talking about? Why are you telling me this stuff for? What white light? You can't see them. You can't hear them. So it frustrates them. And that makes them more prone to psychological disorders. Cognitive disorders can result in huge, huge consequences, guys. So we must take this seriously when we're in Ghost Investigator. I've done investigations where people start swearing at the ghosts for them to come out. That is so disrespectful on so many planes because my neighbour Roy, he's a ghost. I've seen him many times and he's been in my bedroom a few times. I wake up and there he is at the foot of my bed. Oh, we have a little chat and then he goes away. So... If I said to Roy, are you F and S and C? Do you think he'd want to come back? Do you think this shy old man who was so timid, so loving and kind, do you think he'd want to come back to that sort of abuse? Never. He won't come back. So always be respectful with ghosts and spirits, guys. Try and understand that they are stuck in the reality of their conscious awareness, which is ultimately psychological disorders. Okay? It's not science. It's psychology. Okay? It's what they think about. Okay? So my book is coming out. I'm going to be giving away free copies. Okay? Yay! Stay tuned for that one. If you do want my heaven book... Um, about when I died, the five years, because it's called Five Years in Heaven, the five years when I went to heaven. Um, I do have pictures in here, okay, like the one on the front cover. That's me doing my life review with the big three. So I've got a lot of pictures in there that I drew. Um, if you do want to copy, the link is below. The new one is also going to be on Lulu as well. And then I'm coming out with my next book, which is Spirit Guides. Yay! And then I've got another one or two coming out after that. So I want to get them all done this year. So they're all on Lulu. I want five books on Lulu. And right now I've only got one. So stay tuned. Go over to the Lulu link and update yourself on how many books are there. Okay. 
stay tuned because I am giving away free copies of my book. If you want to go into my Facebook group, which is called Dr. Linda Kramer Paranormal, the link is below in the description. Go and join there because I'm going to be giving away a heck more free copies in that group. Okay, please answer the questions so you get approved as a member to stop the trolls and the stalkers and the robots. Okay, so um, I hope that satisfied just today, guys. Don't ever tell a ghost that they're dead. Don't ask them to go into the white light because they could start throwing things at you and it could get very, very dangerous. Okay. If you do want to ask me questions, hello, I'm a wealth of information with Ghost Spirits Heaven, etc. Um, you know, even Dr. Raymond Moody investigated me after I died and he said my near-death experience was one of the most in-depth he had ever experienced. And that's coming from the guy who termed the word near-death experience. So what does that tell you? So I am a wealth of information. I'm pretty humbled. My email is below in the description as well if you want to go and check that out. And I've also got a tip jar there if you do want to donate towards the cause. So guys, I love yous. I hope you're all having a great day. And I hope that that's answered some of the questions that people have regarding the paranormal and what we can and can't say to ghosts. Okay, bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.